Hey guys, Reef Noob here, and today I'm going to give you a quick update what's going on with my tank. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos that I'm doing. And also if you like to be alert when I do new videos, which I know I haven't been that much often, but I do try to do as many videos as I can, uh, definitely hit that bell on the bottom of what next to subscribe. So, what we have here guys is that I finally got my replacement warranty uh, pump uh, from Current USA, which they were awesome. It took me about, I guess, uh, probably about almost uh, five days to get it in, installed for myself, just for timing, because I needed a, pretty much like a half day uh, for what I was gonna do with the, the system uh, when I was replacing the tank, which I'm gonna show you here shortly. Uh, so basically everything's somewhat back to norm. I do have my, uh, my Cobalt 300, uh, or actually it's two water heaters for, if you guys have any Cobalt, which is a very good um, heater for your aquarium systems. They do keep a steady, constant, uh, I guess, temperature. You don't have any swings up and down. They're, they're really, if anything, if there any swings of temperature, it might be a 0.2 degree, and that's really nothing. Um, but they're one of the best. Uh, for a bigger system like this, I need three, uh, probably like around two, I think it was like 275. So I opted for the 300 watt, which was actually two water heaters, or water heater, yeah. Um, so one is, I have it in the back right now, because when I lost flow, um, or lost my water, or my return pump, I stuck one of them here, and I stuck one of them down below in the, um, in the sump. Just to kind of help keep the temperature regulated, uh, so I didn't lose, I didn't start losing bacteria or some of my anthropods that I actually have in my uh, refugium down there. Uh, for it, but everything seemed to work out well. Uh, so that's something I need to find out. So I find a better place for that one. It's kind of like an eyesore. I don't want to leave it into the main display. If I were to keep it, maybe in there, maybe in the back corner along the side where the um, the overflow box is. It's really the only place I can think of keeping it. So, but other than that, guys, uh, we didn't have any type of die off. Um, everything's still looking good. I'm still having a little bit of battle of uh, cranial. As you see here in the lower, I'll just kind of point out, you can see it really over here. You can see the little brown spot areas. Uh, right now the lights are kind of dim low because the tank is waking up for the morning. So, but you can kind of see it down there. And then the type of colorations on the, on the sand. So, but uh, with that guys, that's really, uh, I seem to be finding out more of that on the, you know, from Facebook's groups. It's a kind of a typical occurrence that happens, uh, I guess, in the summertime. Because uh, temperature, you have an increase of uh, temperature of the water that comes out. So you have uh, basically higher chances of, I guess, uh, cranial coming out too. So, but uh, my guys, I clean up crew and try to, you know, eat away at it, on the, at least on the rocks, the best they can. But it's kind of a, a hassle. You just got to sit there, you know, it's like, say... You know, either kind of like a, a turkey baser type thing. This is my coral feeder. So I kind of use that to stick it in there, blow the rocks, uh, the kernel off the rocks and stuff like that. And so I do that kind of every other day. Uh, if you want to get really on it, you have to do it daily. So, but there you go, guys. So everything's doing good. We're back up and running to normal. Um, so everything's really going well with the tank. I am going to be trying to do some other things with it because, as you know, like the coralline algae... Uh, that I'm going to try to have populate right now in the tank. I'm going to try to add some purple up to it and uh, see how that goes. I'm going to shoot another video for that. But uh, now I'm going to show you what's going on with the sump. So, Alright guys, so I have you down here in my sump area. As you see here, uh, kind of new things I have done to it. Um, since I was cleaning out everything with the, my return pump, so I got my return pump line back here that's up and running again. I clean out my, it's kind of been running for about a good, maybe um, uh, almost nine months now, nine, ten months. So I gave it a good uh, cleaning on the inside, uh, give it a lot of slime that's in there, and any type of calcium residue, which there was some on the interior part of the intake there. Uh, nothing on the impeller, uh, so that was good, so I just dipped it in vinegar. Uh, water-based solution and kind of just uh, took out that sludge. Uh, other than that, um, kind of reorganized my little sump area. 
and actually what I did was I didn't want I want to add, take away the pump that I had in with the inside with the uh, protein skimmer so what I did since I was going to be working on the DC pump is as you see here guys I added a T-valve not really a T-valve but a T-connection so I have it spinner off and I it comes down, it's, this is a reducer, so it goes from 3 fourths to half, and then I have a little switch off valve for maintenance, and I have my piping that leads over to my, oops, sorry, finger, big fingers in the way, my reactor, or not reactor, sorry, uh, yeah, my reactor little chamber there that has chemi-pure in it, and then I have it just kind of feeding off into my refugium area to so kind of give it maybe some flow, some water agitation in the front. I can reduce that. Um, so that's how we go guys. I kind of mess, mess around. I tried to handle my cable ma maintenance a little bit better. Try and clean it up. I definitely, if you see here, there's my Bluetooth controller for the current USA. Hooked on with my DC new DC control pump. So there you go guys. I need to clean it up a little bit. On um, the back's even worse, so it's because it's just because I can't reach back there so much, and I've removed stuff. It was beautiful when I first got the tank, but uh, obviously things happen. You got to remove pumps, some pumps uh, reposition, and I didn't account for it. So you can maybe do individual lines nice and tidy, but if you try to do all bundled up nice and tidy, eventually you're going to have to remove it out. So uh, that's that's the only trouble with it. So, but with that, guys, um, I think we're kind of good to go. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, again, guys, if you like what I'm doing here, uh, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Coming back up to the tank again. So there you go. All right. And if you have any questions, give me, uh, let me know. Definitely check out my Instagram channel. Got some interesting things happening uh, over there. So I will talk to you guys later.